Although I thought the ones who live was really good. Something that I don't like is Rick didn't meet Alpha or Beta. He missed such a cool arc on the show. But I think a massive Walking Dead collab coming up will make it possible. I've never been more certain that The Walking Dead is coming to Dead by Daylight. One of my favourite games of all time. I've wanted to make a video about this for so long. But now that there's actual evidence about it, I can do it. So speculation first started back in October 2019 when Season 10 started. When AMC's The Walking Dead's Twitter account and the official Dead by Daylight accounts were following each other. Then, fast forward to September 2021, Dead by Daylight's account and Norman Reedus followed each other on Instagram. This was when season 11 started. So at this point, it was just fun speculation that they've acknowledged each other's existence. Something could have been getting worked on. And over the years since, Dead by Daylight would release polls where players can vote for IPs and characters they would like to see in the game. The Walking Dead was always on these lists until early last year. Then, fast forward to the end of April of this year, and as part of their monthly game statistics they release, at the end they talk about the Nemesis stats. Nemesis is from Resident Evil, and there was a zombie kill counter. When someone plays as Nemesis, there's zombies around the map. Nemesis can take them out himself, or survivors can do it by dropping barriers down on them. And at the end, they sign off by saying, We have a challenge for you. Let's see how many zombies you can slay. No pressure, but the impending zombie apocalypse depends on it. Of course, impending meaning about to happen. In July, there will be a new licensed survivor. This mystery survivor is said by them to be a character who truly embodies the meaning of a survivor. Now, think of all of pop fiction. Who is that other than Daryl Dixon, Rick Grimes? There's been just rumours that if this isn't The Walking Dead, it's Lara Croft because the last three games she was in are known as the Survivor Trilogy. And because they're teasing that this Survivor embodies the meaning of a Survivor, that it's referencing her games, but I think that's really random. Now, The Walking Dead makes way more sense because they've actually got shows coming out around this date, so it's way more relevant to it. Now, there's not much Lara Croft stuff coming out right now, but there's lots of Walking Dead stuff. But if this does turn out to be Lara Croft, then what I talk about in this video is for when they do The Walking Dead next year. But July, when this Survivor comes out, it will be just in time for Daryl Dixon Season 2's original release date, which was the summer. It's now been pushed one week into autumn, but before that, they said the summer. When a Walking Dead show has started in the summer, it's been August. So this Survivor is coming out one month before the Daryl show was going to come out. Late July is also when they announce all the teasers and sneak peeks and trailers for The Walking Dead. They've also just recently went all in with The Ones Who Live. They put Rick and Michonne in Call of Duty. Not to mention in Fortnite a couple years before, but they're clearly going all in on Mark. Marketing. So Daryl being in Dead by Daylight in July for his show makes a lot of sense. Hopefully it becomes a trend and we can finally get Negan in Fortnite. The great thing about this is I don't think Daryl would be the only character. What Dead by Daylight does with licensed survivors is have variants of the same character slot. So I can 100% see them adding Rick and Clementine to swap with on the Daryl bit. Especially because the Skybound and DBD accounts also followed each other recently. Obviously Clementine's from the comic universe. But I see Dead by Daylight as the type of game to just conjoin it. I mean, season two of The Daryl Show, which is what this is mainly promoting, if this is what comes out in July, would have Carol in it too, so you could have Daryl and Carol. Bearing in mind, right now, this would all come under one survivor. It doesn't say there will be a new Walking Dead map for the game, but I would love a Sanctuary or Prison or Alexandria one. It just depends on how successful this new survivor will be. If it's Rick or Daryl, it will be extremely successful, and they could add so much more. Let's go through who could be the killer, because when Rick and Daryl come to Dead by Daylight, they'll just be waiting to bring that killer out too. I can't say for certain, because there's no evidence that that will be in July, but eventually. I remember watching season 10, episode 10 of the main show, and I said Alpha would make a really good Dead by Daylight killer. What did you say, boy? I can't hear you. And she would. Just imagine fixing a generator and hearing the whispers, the groans of zombies, and Alpha coming after you. Actually, all of the killers in Dead by Daylight have to be so disturbed and actually evil or have potential of evil to be picked up by the entity. And I think Alpha isn't actually evil or as demented as Beta. Alpha was way more human than Beta was. And thanks to the amazing acting by Samantha Morton, she's one of my favourite villains because of it. She was not like me! She was not like Sure, she was mad, but she just didn't let people see her vulnerability. But she was vulnerable. Her weakness was Lydia. She's my daughter. She's my baby. I could not get her. 
People say Negan would make a good Dead by Daylight killer, or at least they used to. It's a cool idea, but the thing is, even when he was a villain on the show, I don't consider Negan evil. He's done some evil stuff, but so has Rick. In fact, now he's more of an anti-hero, so I see him being a survivor in the game more than a killer. So I don't know why the entity would choose him. The game director, Matthew Cote, said it's not just about money. What's most important with these licensed chapters in the game is the lore in the game and the universes they're from. So I don't think they would just put Alpha in the game. I think the perfect Dead by Daylight killer is Beta, who literally already lived to serve and worship death. He stripped himself of his identity and just became this dead killer. No joy in life but to be dead and kill. Have the living join the dead, join the horde. So I've always seen them as actually adding Beta as the killer. So I think it's more likely like we've seen with other killers on the game that they let you switch out. Beta and Alpha makes the most sense. And remember in October 2019 when the accounts were following each other it was the season of the Whisperers. It would be perfect. Much like with Nemesis. He could be surrounded by zombies on the map. Apart from with Beta, he can control and whisper with the herd. Send them to you, get you surrounded. Certain areas could be locked off to you because there's too many walkers. There could even be whisperer masks around the map that you can pick up and use so that the zombies leave you alone and you become more silent to beta maybe you can even send the zombies to beta with the resident evil zombies if nemesis or they attack you you get radiation so you've got to inject yourself but if the walkers got you from the walking dead what could you do are you just dead well recently in fear they introduced radiation being able to prolong the effects of it not completely cure but just to buy you time enough time to escape the trial and the entity takes it out of you i see a walking dead collab as just as inevitable as the five nights at freddy's one but what do you think? Do you want this? Do you think it will happen? What Walking Dead characters would you want to see in Dead by Daylight? Let me know what you think down below. And if there's any other chapter you want me to check out in a video, just let me know and I'll do it. And make sure you watch my What If Shane Was In The Ones Who Live video. What would he have done if he was in The Ones Who Live? I actually think it's a lot better than what the show did. Press the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.